If you want a stronger chest, well, then you gotta work these muscles, but pay attention to something real quick. You see the direction of these muscles right here? That's the direction that those muscles pull in. So let me show you over here on our friend Skelly, okay? You can imagine if the chest muscles go to the sternum, they connect right over here to the upper arm, and what it does is this. It pulls the upper arm forward like this. And so what is the best movement that you can do anytime, anywhere, that will strengthen the chest? Well, I'm gonna show you a couple variations right now. All right, the exercise I'm talking about is called the push-up but most people can't do push-ups. But I do have a variation that most people can do, which is called the high chair push-up. So what you wanna find is a nice surface like this. The back of a chair works great, the back of a couch, a dresser, a countertop, something that's kind of between your knees and your thighs, okay? The higher the surface, the easier this will be, the lower the surface, the harder this will be, okay? From there, what you're gonna do is put your hands on top of that surface, and you're gonna find yourself in a plank position like this. Now, in this position, pay close attention because this is where we wanna make sure you have good form. Don't stick your butt out like this, and don't let your hips sag down like this. What we want is this. We wanna rotate the pelvis, so imagine pointing the tailbone towards the ground and squeeze the glute muscles. That's gonna lock the lower back in place and protect the lower back as you do this movement. Now from there, you're going to bring your elbows towards your hips, okay? So when people do push-ups a lot of time, they flare their elbows out like this. That puts your shoulder in kind of a compromising position. It might feel easier, but it's not good for the shoulder. So instead, what we wanna do is bring the elbow back to a 45 degree angle or less, just like this. Glutes tight, tuck the pelvis, come down, elbows are nice and tight towards the ribs, and then you're gonna press into the surface and come back to the start position without losing your core tension and your glute tension. Inhaling as you go down, exhaling as you go up, nice and slow and controlled. Now, you can do this for anywhere between 30 to 60 seconds, slow and controlled, and if you can do this for 60 seconds, I'm gonna show you the next variation to make this just a little bit harder, all right? So, in this variation, what you can do is just come over to the other side of the chair, to the lower surface right here. And what you're gonna do is put your hands down, just like the last one, find your plank position, squeeze your glutes and core, bring your elbows down towards your hips, and you're gonna do push-ups this way instead. This is called the low chair push-up. And you'll feel the difference from the high chair to the low chair is gonna make it significantly different in how difficult it is. In fact, you can start with surfaces up here and slowly work your way down, and eventually you work your way down to the ground, and the whole time, what are we doing? We're pulling our arm back and pushing it forward, just like I showed you on Skelly, working those chest muscles and making your body feel amazing. So give this variation a shot, pay attention to your form, move slow and controlled. Remember that moving your body better means feeling better in your body. Hey, if you have other parts of your body that you wanna strengthen, or maybe you wanna strengthen your whole body, then click the link, take our free quiz, and we'll build you a free workout over at WeShape, making sure that every single movement in your workout is appropriate for you because not everybody can do push-ups. Some people gotta do high chair push-ups, low chair push-ups, et cetera. We'll find out which one is appropriate for you and we'll give you a follow-along workout that gives you the right movements for you. Just click that link, take our free quiz, and I'll see you soon for that workout.